a bit and the map to Nero is always good for FOD so with FOD I mean Mordor or Eisen and if I would make a percentage of who is gonna be in favor in this one I would say this matchup is in favor of Isengard uh, 65% and Rohan 35% but I might be wrong that's just my opinion uh, I would I think just Eisen host is really strong when you are playing Isengard on host against FOL um, Gondo couldn't uh, shouldn't have uh, any chance in this one as a, uh, against a good Isengard especially when Eisen is on host but Rohan has so let's see Rohan is starting with uh, with the, by taking the farm in the top right side with his starting peasant and the other one is going through the bottom uh, through the left side to the bot side of the map gonna take this farm as well under, uh, under his own control Obit is here to deal some damage to those Urukai as they are trying to find some peasants in order to kill them before they arrive and by the way if you wonder uh, what Eisen did Eisen got started with one Uruk pit and took uh, both his mills and that's really good by the way I mean taking this one is pretty risky you don't really need that instead of that I would always start like he did with one Uruk pits and take those two mills and go through the top uh, through the right side with the first starting Urukai just like he did and use the second one to deal with that because if you buy this mill for example then even if Rohan can't destroy that he can actually lure the troll here to your mill by sacrificing his peasants that's why it's risky to take this, but you're gonna make more and more peasants out of the farms. So it's really good for Rohan to control uh, more and more farms since he can actually use those, you know, to, to make recruit more units and to pressure you even more. Isengard using his Warchan ability after dealing with those peasants to now go for the creep. He is gonna take this mill under his own control as well. So pretty nice start here from the Isengard. Not many peasants are coming, so you need to find a good good balance between making extra peasants and also going for horses early on and I think the horses or the stable will come up soon for the Rohan player nope he's gonna he's gonna go for another farm inside that's not really necessary as Rohan when you have two farms inside and three farms outside of your base or in this case even four farms outside of your base it's more than enough to go for a stable because what you gonna what you wanna do is you wanna get your uh, Rohirrim out before Isengard reaches the point where he can actually make pikemen to have to, to to use the early advantage you have to creep as fast as possible to pressure and destroy the mills as fast as possible to deny him resource income and Eisen in the meantime was able to creep this he got a rank 2 Urukai he would be able to deal with those peasants anyway so really really nice well done here and yeah more and more peasants were coming but Isengard was able to out spam the peasant spam from Rohan uh, talking about the stable there we go stable is up Back then it was like normal that people were actually gate rushing each other in 2008 That's why Rohan was closing the gates and you know just to deny that from happening Isengard didn't really attempt to get uh, to go for a gate rush uh, But just in case you know just close the gates why not better safe than sorry That should be the motto by the way However, it looks like Rohan was able to creep this creep here with his hobbit he got a rank almost four hobbit here by himself it's really well done by him i don't i didn't see who got the treasure it does not really matter too much eisen has two three mills under his control you're gonna have the fourth one pretty soon that's more than enough for Isengard to come you know to get to be able to spam more and more units to fill up the base to go for upgrades pretty fast and then he will be forced to make more and more pikemen into berserkers because Pikemen are really weak against um, against peasants, so only pikemen won't secure you the map control. Uh, there are some arches on the field as well. He is gonna move to the outpost, by the way, it looks like. Or he can use those crossbow men to put them inside the tower if he really wants to, and I think that's the plan from the Isengard player. Um, Rohan arrived here at the mill, he will be able to kill this Urukai, regain the map control. Lurz is on the field, by the way. Lurz is a pretty strong hero against uh, Rohan, Rohan horses early on. And once you get him rank five, which is gonna be necessary for later on, uh, he could be he could be canceling this building. Uh, unfortunately, that he didn't do that. And uh, smart move by Eisen creeping this troll with crossbow man. Uh, Rohan saw that actually. I, I'm wondering why he actually not did go for the crossbow man. That would be a really decent amount of experience and power point gain here after killing those crossbow man. He gonna go for the creep by the way, I guess. Nice avoiding the damage by moving around. Just move around from this side. Crossbows are coming out. 
and they are immediately going inside to beat the Rohan player to come for them. 